YouTube, what's going on? Dude, he back with another video. This time I got a Jordan 11 real versus fake comparison. We have the fake, we have the real. Usually I put out, you know, a video with some jokes and a review and that kind of thing. This one's gonna be straight educational. If you wanna see something a bit more entertaining, um, some of my more typical videos, check out the other ones on my channel. I'm trying to put out a video every single week. So definitely stay tuned and comment down below if you wanna see something different. This shoe came out in 2019, December, and um, I actually had the, so I bought this as soon as it launched, and um, like I say in all my real versus fake comparison videos, I have a guy who lives, he's like five minutes away from my condo, and anytime he picks up very, very high quality fakes, he sends me a, a message on Instagram um, and says, hey, do you want to do a real versus fake comparison, or do you have this shoe? And there's a lot of times I say, I don't even have the authentic, so I can't do it. In this case, he picked this up recently, um, and I just connected with him. He drops it off. I say, I would love to do a video on it. So for all the people in my previous videos, I always comment, where'd you get the fake? Where can I buy the fakes? I don't know. You can try Google, search it. You're going to find a ton of people and links and, and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, this video is simply to show you uh, how to identify a replica shoe and how not to pay the authentic price for a replica shoe. There's a lot of guys out there that sell this one, saying it's this one, but it's really this one because the fakes have become so close. Now, the um, comparison videos I do, I only do them on shoes that I'm like, wow, that's insane. And I, I always like to stay on top of that stuff. There's a bunch of Instagram um, guys out there that that show the differences and I stay on top of that stuff too because like you, I'm out here buying shoes. I don't always buy them directly from Foot Locker or directly from a retailer. Sometimes I buy them off local classified ads and I'm always on Grailed and Goat and all that checking um, shoes there to get good prices just like you. Um, so it's always good to be aware and understand what the main differences are. Now, in this case, this is extremely, extremely well done. Um, I had to really kind of look with two of them side by side to understand the differences. This is, again, I'm gonna keep the fake always on the left and I'm gonna have the authentic on the right. I wanna get through and show you guys the shoe boxes. So if you get a shoe box that looks like this, you can kinda of get a couple ways in which I've identified um, the differences. So this one is uh, a US shoe box. So it has the USD uh, pricing here. Um, a lot of people obviously here that watching from Canada or watching from the US, just to give you an idea, this one is from the US. It does not have a Canadian box tag. Now, I'm from Canada, so obviously I have the Canadian box label, and you can see right away, there's a couple differences between the two, and I'm gonna try to just outline that right now. So the color code, black, true red, white, 3780370061. Black, true red, white, 3780370061. But you can tell, if you look right away, the font sizes are different. Look at the 11. Very different. Now this could just be because this is an American tag and maybe this is because it's a Canadian tag. But right off the bat you can kind of tell there's some differences. The real one is smaller. This is what the fake one looks like. It looks like your typical Jordan 11 tag. Now again, if yours looks like this, doesn't mean it's necessarily fake. But I'm just letting you know if you're buying it from Canada it should look like this. The other thing to, to note is that usually Retailers slap this on. This has a style number on it, okay? This is basically just the SKU, or sorry, not style number. This, uh, this has a style number there, and that's the SKU. Retailers do this, and this is their own um, uh, sticker that they put onto their product prior to selling it. Now, if they don't have one of the stickers, it doesn't mean it's fake, but a lot of the cases, um, or all the cases, fakes don't have the sticker, right? Because fakes are just coming from straight from a factory, right? So they don't have this sticker. So once you see this, you're probably in good shape, at least for the box, but you can't always just look at the box and say, oh, the box is real, the shoes must be real. You never know, right? Someone could just easily uh, swap the shoes. So I wanna just make sure we're going through this carefully. This is upside down, so I'll just flip it and you guys understand, left is the fake, right is the authentic. Now, the boxes are exactly the same shape. Usually with fakes, the boxes on the fakes are usually smaller. They're slightly, slightly smaller. It's something to keep in mind. Um, if you can, whenever you're doing a meetup, try to bring the real box. Now. In terms of the box itself, it actually, they did a pretty good job. I mean, it looks exactly the same, except this has a sticker. There's actually a raised sticker on it. Whereas on the Authentic, there is no sticker. There's no sticker here. Usually the sticker is an indicator that it's real, but in this case, there was no sticker on mine. These are from Foot Locker. All right. Um, so that's that. Again, if you're from the US and you got a sticker, then let me know. And if it's authentic, then you let me know. I'd love to hear it in the comments down below. Um, so we've seen the box label, we've seen the top of the boxes. These are identical. I'm gonna show you inside. So straight up, when you open a box and you and you wanna know right away if it's real versus fake, 
One of the things I love to look at is this QC sticker. Basically, this is a quality control sticker that they put in, um, or they put on in the factories to indicate that this shoe has passed quality control, which means it doesn't have major defects or anything of that nature, and it's ready to go, ready to be shipped, and ready to be sold by a retailer. Okay. Sometimes they have the the actual ink prints here, as you can see. This is also another stamp that they had. They had a sticker here that indicates it's ready to go. Look at the fake. Nothing there. There's no QC sticker. Some sellers or some guys that are probably passing them off as fakes might, or as real might say, oh, it fell off, this and that. Well, if there's a lot of red flags already, that's probably the first indicator that these are not legit. Okay? I'm going to flip it like this so you guys can get a better look. So, real, fake. The fakes, right off the bat, you know they're fake. Because look at the paper. Bread 11s do not come with this white paper. They also don't come with these random, like this, it's just... Um, if you ever see this, this was coming, this came out of the box. This is just a way that the, the, I guess the factory was just quick and they were rushed and that just came off the box. I've seen that sometimes in the real pairs, but you rarely see it. Now, white tissue paper, fake, authentic, obviously a receipt, comes with a retro card. This card says Jordan 11, the Air Jordan 11, one of the most iconic silhouettes in the history of sneakers, blah, 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 blah. This didn't come with that. And then black tissue paper. Now, keep in mind, just because it comes with the right packaging, again, doesn't mean it's real. But if you see the wrong packaging and you don't see a card and you don't see a receipt, well, that's probably a first red flag to say there's an issue here. Now, let's get into the actual shoes themselves because anyone can switch a box. But when it comes to the shoes, they'll speak for themselves. So I'm going to get over here. And I'm just gonna show you a side-by-side -side right off the bat. Let's see if you guys can point out any major differences here. It's the fake. There's the real. Usually off the top, you can just tell by the shape. I'm not an expert. I've seen a lot of really, really high quality fakes. I've been collecting sneakers since 2005, so I've seen a lot of things changed recently, I would say within the past five or ten years, things have changed a lot. But when you have them side by side, you can still tell. I'm going to comment on the shape right off the bat. Now, it's going to take a little bit of attention to detail. When you look at a Jordan 11 shape, this is the fake, this is the real. Sorry that all this is. I should have done this properly beforehand, but look how the shape of this kind of just gradually just has a nice, smooth progression. You see what I'm saying? Now look at this one. It's almost like a. It's almost like it's completely slanted up. Now, of course, this could be because the laces are all tied up, but it's not true. These are these are these are not tied tight. This is just how they sit. Look at that shape. Now look at this one. It's like a curve. You know what I mean? This is a slant. Second thing you want to look at for Jordan 11s is the toe box. That's a toe box on the fake. That's a toe box on the real. Might not be able to tell right away, but this toe box is almost a little smaller and it's less bulky. Look at this one. It's longer. The toe box itself just looks longer. This one, it's a little shorter. The authentic is shorter. Okay? That's one of the, that's one of the things I feel like they can never get right. It's the toe box and the shape. They can never get that 100 percent identical. Now there's a way to tell right away, at least in this pair, and I'm gonna say almost every pair is. Take a look at the 23. Back in the day, people used to say, oh. If the 23 is like too fat or the 23 is, you know, what like too long or like misaligned or the ball needs to be aligned in the middle of the 20. Yes, those are all great ways to tell. But this is just sloppy right off the bat. The two and the three on this one at least isn't even lined up. Now look at this. 
23 is lined up perfectly. Look how they're, look how the sides of the two and the three are both aligned. Now look at this one. The two is like longer than the three. It's just sloppy. You wouldn't see that. You wouldn't see that on the thing. Look at this side. It's just misaligned, right? Whereas here, it's almost perfect. Now, there, I guess I guess on the three, it's a little off. But look at that side. That's just perfect. Now, in terms of feel, I feel this feels flat. Feels like, it doesn't feel raised. It just feels like a very cheap. It looks good, like if you, like in hand or the on foot. I wouldn't be able to tell, you know, but actually feeling it in hand, this isn't raised. Whereas you feel this, it's very, very, very apparent that there is something there. Very apparent, very raised. The other thing is if you take a look very closely, look at how the two, three on the fake is thicker. The actual font is thicker. It almost pops more and that's not the lighting, look. It's much thinner on the authentic, which is on the right. Look at the uh, the fake on the left. That's something I noticed right away. In terms of cuts, patent leather, all that stuff, I'm gonna say they're very close. But look for things like this not being aligned in the middle. In this case, it is in the middle, but in this case, it is in the middle too. But sometimes this is like off to the side. That is a red flag. Toe down. Pretty much the same. Those two Jumpman tags look pretty much the same. I didn't understand, I didn't see anything different, but look, this here feels thick. This tongue feels thick and sturdy. This tongue? Look at this. I could twist this. This just feels cheap. It doesn't feel, this doesn't feel well made. This, I can twist it, but I need to put some force into it. Okay, so check the tongue right away. If that tongue feels a little floppy or flimsy, it's probably fake. The other thing is the weight. This shoe, yeah, it's some decent weight, but you feel the authentic, this is heavy. This is actually heavy. I can feel the weight actually in the back heel. I can feel this, the weight of this shoe. Whereas here, eh, this is light in comparison. This feels almost like it feels like the sole is heavy, but the upper is, there's no weight to it at all. It just feels kind of flat, you know? And here, yeah, I feel there, there's a significant difference in weight. Now, I don't know if you want to get crazy enough to bring a little scale, but you could probably figure out how much this weighs versus this. And I would say this is noticeably, in two hands, noticeably different. There's no weight in the upper. Whereas here, I can feel there's weight here and there's some weight here because it's just better quality materials. Visually, I'll be honest with you. I mean, take a look at it. Could you tell right away if you're looking at it? Keeping in mind what we discussed about this, the shape, now that you point all that out, you can kind of tell right away, right? But before that, it's kind of tough. Like if you didn't have this and you just had this and I showed you this photo, would you know right away? To me, I can't get over how long this toe box is. It just looks silly now, almost. You know, so if you see someone with extremely long toe box, or you're seeing a pair with extremely long toe box, chances are it's probably a fake. Whereas here, the toe box looks like it's in proportion to the rest of the shoe. You have a skinny 23 on the back, and there's a lot of weight to the actual shoe itself. I'm not gonna go through tags or inside tags because I actually already looked at that and they're identical. So, let you guys know, these shoes are very, very close if you got it in hand and you're doing your own legit check, if you bought this online or you're seeing it in person, pull up this video and just check a few of those things. I'm going to do a little still so you can understand what the fake 23 looks like. Just so you can compare the two. Make sure it's skinny. Make sure there's a good weight to it. Use your gut. If it doesn't feel right, it probably isn't. And double check all the boxes. This is a very quick overview. Real vs. Fake of the Jordan 11 Bread from 2019. I'm going to have more reviews on the actual channel. Starting next week, you'll see another video. I just thought I'd make this because typically my Real vs. Fake 
videos do quite well. And uh, this is a shoe that obviously is still very popular, means a lot in sneaker culture, and still something that I'm sure people are going to be purchasing for many months and many years to come. So hopefully this is helpful. Let me know in the comments down below. Hit the video with a thumbs up. Shows me your support, and I always do free legit checks on my Instagram, which I've left at the bottom throughout the video. Hit me up, DM me, and uh, hopefully I can help you out. All right, you do heat sign out. Peace.